Hello everyone, this is Wilson. Today I'm going to talk about this integral, the integral of tangent cube of x. And how do we do this integral here? Um, one thing that we can do is to try to break it up as a product of two tangent powers. And then you may say, why do we want to do that? Um, sometimes if you don't have anything that's better to do, then we can try that and see if we can continue with the problem. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to write it as the integral of tangent x times tangent square of x dx. Okay, and then now you may say, what can we do? Um, we can actually use the Pythagorean uh, identity to rewrite this tangent square. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's just recall that identity here. Um, we are going to use the tangent and secant version of the identity. So if we have tangent square of x plus one, right? That's equal to secant square of x. And so what we can do is that if we isolate the tangent square, then we are going to be getting secant square of x and then minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to replace this tangent square by the secant square x minus 1 and see what happens. Okay, so at this point, we cannot do much yet with the integration, so we we need to do some manipulation first. Okay, so I'm going to replace the tangent square of x by secant square of x minus 1, so I put it right here. So I'm getting secant square of x minus 1, and then dx. Okay, so now we have this. Um, because this is a product, so we can actually distribute the tangent to the turns inside the parentheses, right? So we can try to do that. And then again, you may say, why are we doing that, right? Um, we want to try things out. So this is one thing that we can try. We can distribute so that we don't have a product anymore because when you have turns, right, when you have different turns added or um, if you have different turns added together, then it's actually easier to integrate sometimes compared to a product. So that's why we want to distribute the tangent, which will now give us the tangent of x and then the secant square of x. Now, because we're distributing the tangent, so we are getting minus tangent of x and then dx. Well, actually, we can separate this into two different integrals right now. So we can separate them into the integral of tangent x secant square x dx minus the integral of tangent x and then dx. Okay, so good news. We can actually integrate this tangent function directly, right? If we know it's antiderivative, otherwise we just need to make a simple use up. Um, for this one, we can also integrate by a simple use up. So we can actually do both at the same time, right? So now let's do it. Um, so what we are going to do is that we are going to perform a use up right here. We are going to let u be tangent x. Okay, so let this u be tangent x. So let's do it on the side right here. So let u be tangent x. And now we need to find the du, right? The du is equal to the secant square of x, right? That's the derivative of the tangent, and then the dx. Okay, and so do you see what's going on right here? This secant square x dx is actually the same thing as the secant square x dx. And so that's actually our du. Okay, so now we are turning the integral, well, both integrals, well, actually not both, just the first one, into the integral of u times du, right? There is a du right here. And then what about the other one? The other one we can integrate directly. We know that the antiderivative for the tangent, okay, it's actually ln of... Um, secant x inside the absolute value. And so that's actually quite simple here. We already integrated this function right here. Okay, and then you may say, what about this one right here, right? What about this one? We can integrate um, u with respect to u directly. So we are going to be getting u to the second power times one over two, okay? And then we have the second function minus ln of absolute value of secant of x, and then plus the constant integration. 
Um, we just need to do one more step. We just need to replace this u with the tangent so that we switch the whole expression back into an expression involving just x, right? So let's do that. So we are going to be getting one over, right? What is that? That's tangent square, right? That's tangent, and then we have, so there, there is an x here, and then there is a square. So tangent square, and then minus ln of secant x, and then plus c. And then we are finished with this one. Is that okay? So now going back to the beginning of the problem, um, at the beginning, we actually have no idea why we are uh, doing this. But sometimes when you're doing integration, you have to try things out. So um, by splitting the power into the first power and then the second power, we can, um, because we are getting a second power right here, then we can use the Pythagorean identity to convert the tangent square into an expression involving the secant square. And then we may be able to do more work from there because we need more things to work with, right? Just working with the tangent cube is more difficult than working with this expression here, even though it looks more difficult, but it's actually easier as you can see. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and then also check out my other math videos. And then also please share my videos to other people and leave me a comment and give me a like. And then thank you for watching this video. I will.